What's going on folks and welcome to your yet another Google Chrome extension development tutorial in which we'll be continuing with our storage chrome.storage API and let's continue with our code so last time we just created a basic layout for extension with just alerts whatever we write inside this so now we need a mechanism somehow to store this value so if I look into the docs then in the first example it gives me an API chrome.storage.sync.set and the argument is passed as an object with a function as a callback if you notice then alright so let's code it ourselves so right here we have got the value let's comment it out for the time being chrome.storage synchronize dot set and right here it takes argument one which is all the data and argument two which is a callback function if I'm not wrong yeah it is so in the argument one as you can see all of the data is passed so right here it says value the value and what does that mean is I'll tell you so let's say if I say my line and colon value now this thing right here would also work so we don't need any callback function actually so my line and a colon and a value what it does is it would basically create a variable a kind of um, you can say a kind of map that has my line written on it and it stores all the things you had in the variable value we could also do that something like this but that would make this function this API strictly um, static so my line is just storing the word value here but with this my line variable stores whatever the user supplies inside the text box save line which is grabbed via the JavaScript and stored inside the variable value. So let's check this out, this example, without any callback function. I'll see if it works. So let's launch the popup.html and uh, let's open the console in case there's an error. We could just get the reference of that and I'll write a line. I'll click on save line and nothing happens and nothing in the console as well. And that, uh, these are good signs. That means there was no error. So if I pass a callback function now and say alert, success, and if I reload this thing right here, then you see that whenever I save line, it says success. So you see that it's all the time overriding everything I write here so the benefit now even though even if I close my browser start restart my computer and do the again thing uh, actually don't do the same thing again but if I write this is a cool line and save this line and now even if I restart my computer and somehow use this API instead of set to get it then I would get the exact same words I wrote here from this variable right here so in this tutorial you learned how to set something inside a Chrome variable and the syntax to go over it again is pretty much simple you just write chrome.storage.synchronize dot set all those methods this accepts two arguments arg1 and arg2 arg1 is an object of what you want to store the data and arg2 is a function is a callback function and this is optional for your can information so you need not to write this function every time unless you want to verify even if your data was stored or not so arg1 is well enough and since this is an object we'll write this in curly braces your key name your 
your key value there you go so you have now successfully stored something inside chrome.storage and that's it for this tutorial and the next one will be looking at how you can retrieve data from the chrome storage so still then till then stay tuned in me don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching that's it